Hey y'all, hi survivors. I was just sitting here thinking back when I was little and my mom was alive and how we, I mean, this woman would travel from one state to the other state with all her kids. <laughs> I mean, and I'm the youngest of eight children, okay? Eight. And we would travel from Las Vegas, Nevada, to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to go see my grandmother, whom had, who had one child, which was my mother. <laughs> and I just would always wonder how my grandmother did it. Because we would sit at the table and, and say, would you, please, would you pass the bread, please? Would you pass the ketchup, please? May I please and thank you. And yes, ma'am, we didn't run in the house. And I mean, she sat at the head of the table and it was just her. No, my grandfather was there. My grandpa was there. So, uh, but he would be working or he would be out in the field. He would be doing stuff in the yard, you know, and, um, he would eat, but he ate where he wanted to. And, um, uh, but all of us would be sitting at the table. I just think about how the kids are today and how it was back then. It's like these kids of today have no respect. They have no respect. They don't even use the magic words, may I please and thank you, you know, to get things done. They don't use that. And uh, we don't, I don't think people really see the downfall in humanity because this is going to be the future. Who do you think the leaders are now? They used to be children. And when they were children, they were taught to be leaders. And then they grew and became leaders. But nowadays, you got kids killing parents and parents don't have no control over their children. And it's not really nothing that you can do. I think it's just the era. Is If you're not taught from a seed all the way to um, young adolescence, it is a misfortune. It, 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 it's, it's very grim for our future as humanity, as humans. We, what's going to happen to us, y'all? For real. Seriously. I want to know because I don't know if I'm going to be living here, living uh, during that time. I don't know, but I really don't want to because the way the kids are today, yeah. These kids, they ain't like they were when we were younger. Now, my grandkids, I teach them, may I please and thank you. I teach them to say their grace. I teach them to be helpful. You know, I do teach them those things. So, but we talk about the world, okay? And 95% of the world is not doing that. We're not taking the old traditions and teaching our children. We're not thinking about the future with our children. And uh, we better get on it because if not, we're going to be a race that's lost. And that's a human race. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Make good choices. Bye-bye.